How's it going, people? Well, King Benjamin hasn't died yet, unfortunately. So, I figured I'd press on, because I hate to leave something undone. And speaking of uh, leaving something undone, uh, I still got, oh god, almost half a bottle of this uh, Mansynth. Marilyn Manson's special blend of the Green Fairy. So, sounds magical. And we all believe in magic, right? Yeah. That looks magical. I'm not gonna do anything special with it. I'll just... <laughs> I'll just drink it straight down. And in chapter 4 of Mosiah, unfortunately, I have to do it right off. <laughs> There's only like a couple of drinks here, but that's why I decided I'd pick something a little special. Hang on a second. <laughs> Whew. All right. Ah. All right. And now it came to pass that when King Benjamin had made an end of speaking the words which he had delivered unto Wait, the words which had been delivered unto him by the angel of the Lord, uh, that he cast his eyes about on the multitude and beheld they had fallen to the earth, for the fear of the Lord had come upon them. All right, a couple of interesting points. I mean, I didn't think uh, everything he was saying was that scary. I mean, yeah, a little brimstone talk, but... uh. He's not keeping an eye on his audience. I mean, he's talking and he's not looking at anybody. He looks down and, oh, everybody's on the ground. What's up? Not realistic. But, obviously, it must be true because it's in this gold book. I mean, they wouldn't they wouldn't just make some shit up now, would they? Uh-uh. They wouldn't lie. <laughs> That'd be unchristian of them. <sighs> And they had viewed themselves in their own carnal state. Yeah, I hate to... I'm not really fond of looking at myself in a carnal state. <laughs> I'd rather look at other people in a carnal state. I am kind of bored with me. <laughs> Even less than the dust. Dusty old farts at it again. <laughs> of the earth. <laughs> the dust of the earth. <laughs> yeah, they call some people the salt of the earth, but they call Benji the dust of the earth. <laughs> he was born dusty. <laughs> they should have just called him Dusty. Uh, all right. And they all cried aloud with one voice, saying, Oh, have mercy and apply the atoning blood of Christ. <laughs> that we may receive forgiveness of our sins. See, it's nothing about scare tactics. Uh -uh. But Jesus hasn't been born yet. And I'm getting a time machine and get some of his blood while it's fresh. That's what happened to the Holy Grail. <laughs> Just kidding. This is so silly. All right. Atoning blood of Christ. <laughs> that we may receive forgiveness of our sins and our heart may be purified, for we believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who created the earth and all things, who shall come down among the children of men. All right. Whew. This shit kicks ass. Unfortunately, it's my ass that's getting kicked. 
<clears throat> Cheers. Yeah, to Marilyn Manson. You're a decent gentleman. It's all a show. You're one smart motherfucker. And, uh, damn good shit. Ah! Uh -huh. Ah! All right. <coughs> Verse 3. <laughs> and it came to pass that after they had spoken the words, the Spirit of the Lord came upon them. <laughs> Have some blood splatter. <laughs> Jesus, that's big. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, who needs to sprinkle the blood of turtle doves and whatever else they kill to ease their own guilt? <laughs> These primitives. <sighs> the Spirit of the Lord came upon them, and they were filled with joy, having received a remission of their sins, and having peace of conscience because of the exceeding faith which they had in Jesus Christ, who should come <laughs> and croak <laughs> and bleed all over the place for you fine folks. <laughs> According to the words which King Benjamin had spoken unto them, and King Benjamin again opened his mouth and began to speak unto them, sorry, uh, saying, My friends and my brethren, my kindred and my people, I would again call your attention that ye may hear and understand the remainder of my words which I shall speak unto you. For behold, if the knowledge of the goodness of God at this time has awakened you to a sense of your nothingness. Sense of your nothingness. <laughs> and they say, nothingness. Nothing without God. And your worthless and fallen state. I'm actually doing pretty good these days. I'm moving on up. I say unto you, if ye have come to a knowledge of the goodness of God, and his matchless power, and his wisdom, and his patience, and his long suffering towards the children of men, and also the atonement which has been prepared from the foundation of the world. Yeah, it's been all planned out. It just seems all haphazard and sloppy. <laughs> that thereby salvation might come to him that should put his trust in the Lord and should be diligent in keeping his commandments and continue in the faith even unto the end of his life. Which isn't wasted at all on a bunch of silly nonsense. No. No, after you're dead... There's going to be pie in the sky. I, it was in a song. I heard about it. Something to do with the Salvation Army, I think. Those pricks. Fuck you guys. I'll go to the Goodwill. And I like thrift stores. But I'll skip that one. I even go to the Mormon thrift store. It rocks. <laughs> I got this there. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay, where was I? Um... Yeah, into the end of your fucking worthless life. If you s stick with this bullshit all the way through without wavering, pie in the sky, babies. I mean the life of the mortal body. Yeah, your real only life. Wasted on this shit.
go right ahead. I don't mind. I just think it's sad. Sad and funny. Kind of like a crying clown or something, you know? <sighs> I say that this is the man who receiveth salvation through the atonement, which was prepared from the foundation of the world for all mankind, which ever were since the fall of Adam. Or who are, or who shall, uh, who, wait, or who ever shall be, even unto the end of the world, you're his bitch, all of you. You're his bitches, and he don't even exist. That's funny and sad. <laughs> and this is the means whereby salvation cometh. And there is none other salvation save this which hath been spoken of. <laughs> Neither are there any conditions whereby man can be saved except the conditions which I have told you. So you better listen to King Benji because he's the only one telling you the truth. He's got the key to heaven. What's St. Peter doing there? I mean, the guy's a fucking serial killer next to Benji. He was just a drag. Benji was just a drag. That's all. <sighs> Verse 9. <laughs> believe in God. Believe that he is. And that he created all things both in heaven and in earth. Believe that he has all wisdom and all power, both in heaven and in earth. Believe that man doth not comprehend all the things which the Lord can comprehend. Yeah, and Superman can beat me in an arm wrestling match, if he existed. <laughs> if he only existed. <laughs> Bring it on, bitch, if you exhaust. Oh. And again, believe that ye must repent of your sins. And forsake them, and humble yourselves before God. And ask in sincerity of heart. I remember this verse. The elders told me this about to read this one. This is the one. You know, I've read through this book several times, and it's so dull, you start sleep reading. <laughs> Mark Twain called it uh, chloroform in print. <laughs> I couldn't think of any way to make it interesting. How am I doing so far? Uh, I guess there's no helping it. All right. Yeah. Uh, humble yourselves before God. I tried that. I really did back when I was stupid. I got better. <laughs> and ask in sincerity of heart. You know, Proverbs says a fool listens to his heart. It really, I think it was Proverbs or Jeremiah. No, it was both. <laughs> Read your fucking Bible, assholes. It says don't listen to your heart. It lies to you. It tells you what you want to hear. I know. I've been in, out, in and out of love enough times, you know. And... Uh, <laughs> It doesn't really break, it just, you just feel like shit. <laughs> don't listen to your heart. Listen to your fucking brain. And don't believe half of it, what it tells you either. <sighs> listen to your heart. Fuck you. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> and I finally repaired all the damage. <laughs> I'm cool now. <laughs> Listening to the right body part now. And, yeah, the right. Talking about the entire, never mind. Uh, and ask in sincerity of heart that he would forgive you. And now, if you believe all these things, sorry, see that ye do them. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's hard to take this serious. I There's a field between me and this Mormon church. 
And I see people in nice Sunday clothes out there picking up garbage with their kids. And yet they hire uh, gardeners for their church. But they clean up that little field all day long for free. And then they give them money for the... <laughs> it's nice to belong, isn't it, folks? <sighs> And again, I say unto you, as I have said before, that as ye have come to the knowledge of the glory of God, maybe that's a little further on, huh? <laughs> or if ye have known of his goodness and have tasted of his love, ooh, <laughs> Actually, I tried. It's like fucking air. <laughs> you know the last prayer I had? I used to pray all the time. I swear. I swear to God. I used to pray all the time as a kid and even as a teenager. I did. I lived out in the country. I'd go out by the creek and pray by myself and shit. And most of my prayers were not asking for anything. They were, uh, hello? Hey, God? God? God! God! Where the fuck are you, God? Wake the fuck up. <sighs> Guess my voice wasn't loud enough. Glory of God. <sighs> All right, I know where that is. Or if ye have known of his goodness and have tasted of his love. Oh, that's where I got thrown, right there tasted of his love. Tastes like air. <laughs> or bread and Kool-Aid. And have received a remission of your sins, which causes such exceeding great joy in your souls. Even so, I would that ye should remember and always retain in remembrance the greatness of God and your own nothingness and his goodness and long suffering towards you because he's got to put up with a lot of shit doesn't he I mean he made us the way we are and that pisses him off I guess he's just shitty at making stuff <laughs> <laughs> He's long-suffering towards us. He's still putting up with my shit. I can't believe it. <laughs> Unworthy creatures. Jesus, I gotta read this one <laughs> over again. All right. The greatness, a part of it. The greatness of God. That's verse 11, and it's a long one. Uh, and your own nothingness. And his goodness and long suffering towards you, unworthy creature creatures, and humble yourselves, even in the depths of humility, calling on the name of the Lord daily, sometimes several times daily. Ugh. Oops. Gee, I think I just I think the devil just jumped out of me. I'm alright. Wait, I believe all this shit. What the fuck? Just kidding. A little early for April's Fools. That's why I fooled you. <laughs> All right. The depths of humility. Sounds like the perfect cult member. Calling on the name of the Lord daily and standing steadfastly in the faith of that which is to come. Which, this was written, uh, you know, uh, 124 B.C., so don't think they're talking from today to the future, you fucktards. <laughs> Come on. I'm reading the Book of Mormon, all right? Remember? In case there's any Christians out there. <laughs> I've actually had some of them get bent into shape. And they, oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Oh, name of the Lord daily, and standing steadfastly in the faith of that which is to come, which was spoken by the mouth of the angel. 
So what the fuck do we need you for, Benji? Just send the angel to tell us this. Or them. That would have been bitching in this book. Hey, this angel showed up and said, Hey, get out of my way, fucking Benji. <laughs> Fart some dust, you old prick. <laughs> and then he said all this. I mean, like, I'd be going, Wow, it's still bullshit. <laughs> I mean, it would be pretty cool, though. This way is kind of boring. <sighs> And behold, I say unto you that if ye do this, ye shall always rejoice, because you're brainwashed. That's why. <laughs> I'm so happy. Because they told me I am. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, man. <laughs> Rejoice and be filled with the love of God. I'm filled with the love of life. That's pretty good, isn't it? And always retain a remission of your sins if you stay a fucking punk. <laughs> and ye shall grow in the knowledge and glory of him that created you. Yeah, you could learn all about you know, Middle Earth and Tolkien, you know, know everything about it. It doesn't mean it matters. <laughs> it ain't real, man. Knowledge of this shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> that was stupid. All right, where am I? Uh, <laughs> knowledge, that's where I was. Of that which is just and true. Right. And ye will not have a mind to injure one another, but to live peaceably, according to that which is his due. So what if he's got it coming? And it's his due, right? <laughs> Just wondering. <laughs> ye will not suffer your children that they go hungry or naked. Neither will ye suffer that they transgress the laws of the Lord. And fight and quarrel one another uh, and serve the devil who is the master of sin I mean he's real good at it apparently <laughs> that's silly <laughs> or who is the evil spirit <laughs> we're still on Verse 14, which hath been spoken of by our fathers, he being an enemy to all righteousness. Whatever that is. A whole bunch of being right, I guess. <laughs> I'm right. Just ask me. See? I'm right. But ye will teach them to walk in the ways of of truth and soberness. Ye will teach them to love one another. Force them to do it even. <laughs> like that's... It's, it's <laughs> love one another and to serve one another. And also ye yourselves will succor, succor, uh, the suckers, <laughs> those who, that, those that stand in need of your succor. Succor. <laughs> ye will administer of your substance unto him that standeth in need. And ye will not suffer that the beggar uh, putteth up his petition to you in vain and turn him out to perish. Perhaps thou shalt say, the man has brought upon himself his misery. Therefore, I will stay my hand. Oh, really? 
Nice to know. Want to buy a bridge? <laughs> and will not give unto him of my food, nor impart unto him of my substance, that he may not suffer, for his punishments are just. But I say unto you, O man, wherefore doth this the same hath cost gr uh, great cause to repent? And except he repenteth of that which he hath done, he perisheth forever, and hath no interest in the kingdom of God. For behold, are we not all beggars? Uh, I'm not. Don't even have any outstanding debts. I've, I'm out of debt. I'm in the black, baby. Not great, but good. Do we not all depend upon the same being, even God? No, I've I depend on the employer I've had for the past 21 years that, at least so far, they like me. Of course, they haven't seen these. <sighs> for all the substance which we have, for both food and raiment, and for gold, and for silver, <laughs> and for all riches uh, which we have of every kind, Yeah, God gives all that to uh, everybody. They just got to work for it. <laughs> and behold, even at this time, ye have been calling on his name and begging for a remission of your sins. Don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> sins? I've been good. And has he suffered that ye have begged in vain? Nay, he has poured out his spirit upon you, and has caused that your heart should be filled with joy. <sighs> nice. You know, junkies are filled with joy during the rush. You know, when I used to go to church, uh, yeah, the rush lasted about, I don't know, four hours, maybe two. It was mostly the music. You just like, ah, oh, it's gone. <laughs> like everything else, it's artificial. Even the green fairy over there. Of which uh, I put a big dent in. That explains my behavior. Ah. Nay. <laughs> Wait, and has he suffered that ye have begged in vain? <laughs> Nay, he has poured out his spirit upon you, and has caused that your heart should be filled with joy, and has caused that your mouth should be stopped, that ye should not find utterance. So exceeding great was your joy. <laughs> yeah. And now, if God has, uh, who has created you, on whom you are dependent for your lives, and for all that ye have and are, doth grant unto you whatsoever you ye ask, that is right. Only if it's right, though. Anything yet? Any? If you, if. Hey, can you save my mom's life? Oh, it must not have been right. <laughs> oh, hey. Nickel on the ground. He is true. He is real. <laughs> That's silly shit, man. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. If you, uh, right, yeah, in faith, believing that 
ye shall receive. <laughs> oh, then, how ye ought to impart of the substance that ye have one to another, and ten percent gross to the big daddy in Salt Lake City. <laughs> and if ye judge the man who putteth up his petition to you for your substance, even if he's a substance abuser, <laughs> that he perish not, and condemn him, how much more just will be your condemnation for withholding your substance, selfish bastards! <laughs> which doth not belong to you but to God. <laughs> so why are we giving him money? If he gave it to us, we'll spend it and he'll get it later. <laughs> Add a little God tax on. <laughs> That's what you'd like to do. <laughs> to whom also your life belongeth, that dirty bum, his life belongs to ya. <laughs> Give him your shit. <laughs> Shades of Axe. Not quite as crazy as Axe, though. Maybe I'll get into that later. I think I did already, actually, in an earlier video. That's right. About Peter being a hitman. St. Peter. Uh, <clears throat> I think I was drunk doing that one, too, so it probably sucks. Um... To whom also your life belongeth, especially if you join a cult. Drink the Kool-Aid. Or you get a shot. <laughs> I know, that's sad. And yet ye put up no petition, nor repent of the thing which thou hast done. I say unto you, Woe be unto that man, for his stuff substance shall perish with him. At 120 is fine. Because, hey, I'm starting to do all right. I mean, pretty good, actually. No complaints. Just can't wait to finish this fucking book so I can move on to other projects. I'm already bored with it. <sighs> and no one's watching, but. I don't know, I gotta finish. Because I'm, I guess, OCD or something. All right. I say unto you, Woe be unto that man, for his substance shall perish with him. And now I say these things unto those who are rich as pertaining to the things of this world. This world. Not that world. Or wherever the fuck. Or wherever the And again I say unto you, that the poor, ye who ha have not, and yet have sufficient, that ye remain from day to day, I mean all you who deny the beggar, because ye have not, I would say, that I would that ye say in your hearts that, I give not because I have not. But if I had, I would give. That's okay. According to verse 24. And now, if ye say this in your hearts, ye remain guiltless. But they can, the thought police can read your mind, so don't think you can fool them. BTK tried that shit. And it worked for him. <sighs> Bad example. Uh, and now I say, if uh, if you say this, you remain guiltless. Otherwise, otherwise, ye are condemned, and your condemnation is just. For ye covet that which ye have not received. So don't be a phony beggar, because that pisses Mormons off. And you might, they might find your bleached bones out there in the desert, biatch. 
You should read Mark Twain's Roughing It sometime. I got links to uh, a few sections of the book, but uh, he goes on about early Mormons quite a bit. Fun stuff. Scary shit. Al-Qaeda kind of Taliban crazy shit. <sighs> Roughing It, Mark Twain. Like around chapter 11, I think. Maybe 9. I don't remember which. <sighs> And now, for the sake of these things which I have spoken unto you, that is, for the sake of retaining a remission of your sins from day to day, that ye may walk guiltless before God, I would that ye should impart of your substance to the poor, every man according to that which he hath, such as feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, visiting the sick, and administering to the relief, to their relief, both spiritually, of course, and temporally, secondary, you know, how you doing? I mean, so let's talk about Nephi. According to their wants, what they want is you to stop ringing their doorbell on the Saturday morning, asshole. And I mean you J-dubs, too. Fuck you both. And I gotta tell a story sometime about the J-dubs, but later. And see that all these things are done in wisdom and order, for it is not requisite that a man should run faster than he has strength, or possible, even. <laughs> And again, it is expedient that he should be diligent, and thereby, thereby <laughs> he might win the prize. Therefore, all things must be done in order. <laughs> fucking awesome advice there. Like, pretty fucking poor Richard's alm almanac shit, you know? Except not funny or interesting or well-written or... <laughs> and I would that ye should remember oh I'm trying to forget I keep forgetting this book because it's so wonderfully awfully forgettable <laughs> when I finish this book I'm never picking it up again I'm going to do it on video and that's it <laughs> I'll just keep it in my bookshelf to remind me uh, and I would that ye should remember that whosoever among you borroweth of his neighbor should uh, should return the thing that he doth borroweth <laughs> that he borroweth accordingly as he doth agree. Bring it back, asshole! <laughs> If I were to add, write my own Bible, I'd have to put uh, verse 28 in, you know. Hey, come on, man. That's still my lawnmower. I just said you could use it. <laughs> or whatever the fuck. <laughs> and, or, or else thou shalt commit sin. Oh, okay. <laughs> and perhaps thou shalt cause thy neighbor to commit sin also. So don't loan him anything. That's simple. Just say, uh-uh, I don't trust people. Sorry. <laughs> and finally, thank God, who's in this book, supposedly. <laughs> and finally, I cannot tell you all the things whereby ye may commit sin. Great. So there's no map to this minefield. That's what you're telling us. We're fucked. Game over. <laughs> For there are divers ways. He used a new archaic word. Divers, as in many. Awesome. It took him all the way up to, I mean, Mosiah 4, verse 29, to finally use a new archaic word. He realized it was sounding too modern. It was starting to sound too modern. Mark Twain was right. Watch my video series, link below. It's 
much more entertaining than this shit. All right. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell you about the minefield. There's divers ways and means, even so many that I cannot remember them, you old fart. <laughs> Benji. Die already. God damn it. This is beyond theatrical. But this much I can tell you that if ye do not watch yourselves, suckers, if ye do not watch yourselves and your thoughts, so you got to watch your what you're thinking too. Interesting. That's verse 30 of Mosiah 4. Watch your thoughts and your words. I watch my words, but man, I can't do anything about my thoughts. Sorry. It's always been a problem. I may not be that bright, but I can't stop thinking. I'm bright enough to know this is a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> don't take a genius. That's why most atheists don't even bother with this book and aren't watching this. <laughs> it's cool, guys and gals. It's cool. Uh, your words and your deeds and observe the commandments of God at least till JC shows up and then croaks and splatters you with blood and then you don't have to fucking worry about these commandments anymore it's fulfilled sort of, kind of I don't know and continue in the faith of what Ye have heard concerning the coming of our Lord, who's going to take over the family business <laughs> under new management. Because the old man was kind of, you know, he was a little old before he started his project, and I guess getting senile. <sighs> Even unto the end of your lives. They had to say that again in verse 30. Waste your whole life on this shit. It's worth it. <laughs> ye must perish if you don't do that. <laughs> and now, O oh man, remember and perish not. And that's finally the fucking end of this. I apologize for my behavior, but absinthe makes me weird. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to do this again. Anyway, I'll see you in chapter uh, five of Mosiah, and let's see how many drinks do we have. Ooh, a lot of drinks. So I'll be drinking beer. Peace the fuck out and have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is that you're having.